What's up, YouTube? Um, I'm gonna make some modif modifications on my previous DIY CO2 filter. Um, the little issues I had. Well, one issue was a little glass thing I had. If you check out my previous videos, which I'm gonna figure out a way to link it or look below, um, it broke. And I was having like I pulled it out and the thing like it seemed to be leaking and it seemed like to funk up the water so what I thought was like it was leaving this like fluid type stuff so what I figured I'd do to improve the design of it was go ahead and put this on top run it to here and then here to, to the tank because this will count all the fluid crap and it'll just be carbon dioxide and then so that's what my plan is for this. What I'm going to show you, what you need, this is extra stuff, is all the stuff you need. Um, you don't need this. You can use a drill, and I'll show you how to do that and how to do it right. You need airline tubing, yeast, sugar, and I'm not sure if I need salt or not, but I have it for some apparent reason. So, but if you have one of these or two of these, this or one of these alone will save you a lot of time because all you have to do is unscrew the top of this one and oh crap lost it but you're done with that part and well first we gotta pour the stuff in and whatnot but we're gonna make a hole in that one and I can show you the tools you need and how to do it so it works effectively without silicone okay I figured out I don't need the salt that's for my brine shrimp totally forgot about that so anyways what you're gonna end up doing I mean this is how I'm gonna do it you can do it however you want to you can prep it beforehand and then get it going is I'm gonna use this piece of paper and make a funnel and it's kinda hard to do with one hand but I'll try and make a funnel and then go ahead and put the sugar sorry about all this put the sugar into the bottle like so let's say you make a funnel well like that and then go ahead and pour the sugar in there you need one cup and some uh, it's a pinch of yeast I mean you don't need that much but let me go ahead and do that and show you what else you need to do you can look up a lot of recipes for your DIY, uh, that's how it works. Your your little reactor or whatever you want to call it, your CO2 maker. <laughs> so, I mean, you know, don't take just mine. I mean, if something works better for you, you know, let me know. I don't really know a lot about this. I, I do it from time to time just because I know it helps. It's, you can just I can just tell with the plants that seem to grow a lot better. But, anyways, this is it going on and yeah figured I'd go ahead and put that on there just so people know how it looks and how it works and it's simple you get your cup put in the sugar and then you put it up top I mean you can use pre-made ones but I have paper sitting around so alright keep uh, watching alright for this next step you're gonna need a drill um, these I mean I'm not really sure what size yet so and need one of those prop pliers. Uh, you can do it different ways. This is what's going to work for me because I don't want to silicone it. You can silicone it either way. I would recommend you silicone it. But I'm going to go ahead and figure out what size I'm going to need for this. You know, I mean, like, this is too big, obviously. The 635 millimeters too big. I think the 4 is right, but I'm going to go ahead and do the 4 3 first. And I need to put in two holes on there so I can get this going. And I'm going to need both hands for this. So uh, I'll show you guys how it's done afterwards. So keep watching. Alright, my first hole's in. Um, I don't think it was big enough, so I'm going to go up a size. Um, I have other pop uh, bottles, tops I can use. So, I mean, this is trial and error. So it's live. So I mean like, I mean I could do it, it's going to be extremely, extremely tight, which might be a good thing. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do this. Um, so keep watching. The size I would recommend is a 4.75 or 5. I mean like, the other size I have is a 6, which is too big. So, and it's going to be really tight and I'll show you how to go ahead and do that. And so that way it's not difficult for you to... And, I mean, you, you might want to silicone it. I'm going to just in case. So, keep watching. I hope you're picking up something or if there's something you 
you know or I, I should try, just feel free to comment. Right, for this next part, for, you're going to need uh, scissors, airline tubing, your pop tab, cap, whatever you want to call it. And what you do is you go ahead and cut it at an angle. Oh, and uh, needle nose pliers will work a lot. Cut it like this at an angle. You slide it in and it should be airtight. So uh, I'm going to need both hands for that too. So watch. All right, that's what you're going to end up getting. It's pretty much, there's no way air's coming in or out of these. They are pretty stiff. You can't get anything out. I already tried squishing them and stuff. And air will come in here if I hold this one. This is what goes to your tank. Alright, that's what you need the tape for because you can tape it together like this so it's not all messed up and wiggling all around and whatnot. But that's how it goes. Add the water to this. The water will go to here, or the, you know, the water and the chemical reaction will happen here. When it happens here, it then goes into this. If extra little water and whatnot goes into there, it's okay because it goes down to the bottom and yeah, the uh, carbon dioxide has to go to the top. And then this will end up going to your tank. So I'm going to go ahead and finish the product and I'll go ahead and show you what it looks like with water and taped up and everything. You can use whatever kind of tape. You don't have to use a Coke tape, you know, or Coke bottles. If you don't want to use a drill, you don't have to use a drill. I just wanted to see, you know, this was my modifications on them. It's having the extra one. I really wish I wouldn't have lost the little reactor thing, diffuser, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to end up having to use uh, Airstone, which isn't a big deal. So if you guys have any questions or comments, feel free to ask. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do it and then go ahead and show you guys in action what it does. So, peace. Alright, that's what the tape's for. So it stands together easier. This will go in the aquarium. I'll add an airstone. And that's how it looks. You add your water, you got time. You don't, so don't feel like you gotta rush. You use warm water, cold water. Warm water helps it, but you got you don't have to rush to get it in the tank and all set up real quick. So just let you guys know. Um, it takes about 30 minutes or something like that, three hours. I don't know. But I'll go ahead and uh, upload another video of it being in action. So that'll be in the description down below. Or I'll see if I can get it somewhere over here. So if you guys have any questions or comments, I'm just going to put an airstone on there and let it go to town. Um, there's diff Some people use baking soda. I just use sugar and yeast. Warm water. It's supposed to make CO2. If not, then I keep doing that. But my plants seem to get bigger, greener, and better. So it's working for me. If you guys have any questions or comments... Um, only thing I really would have to say, which I probably should have put in the video beginning, be careful when you're doing things like this. If you don't know what you're doing, I would recommend, you know, find someone that does know or has an idea of how to do these things because you can really hurt yourself. So, I am a trained professional at what I do. Okay, that, that was kind of a lie, but I know how to use a drill. I know how to use a lot of things I, you know, I know how to use them, so... You know, just be careful, and hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, sorry it took so long, but yeah, all you do, airstone. Put this in your aquarium, and let it go. Alright, peace. It's been a week. Uh, I'm going to end up posting the video. I have to edit it. But as you can tell, maybe, it uh, is slowly giving some carbon dioxide. Randomly. So, not very much, 